Hi there. Have you ever wondered how a business owner deducts health insurance on their tax returns? My name is Merrill Taylor with Tax Tutor, and if you like this video and what I have to say, I would appreciate if you would consider hitting the subscribe button below. So let's talk about self-employed health insurance and how that deduction works for business owners. Well, as you can see here, I've, I've written out various ways of doing business. We have Schedule C, a partnership, a C Corp, and an S Corp. And the way that the self-employed health insurance, or the way that health insurance premiums are deducted for each of these business owners can be a little bit different depending on the situation. So the most simple way is uh, Schedule C. So if you are a business owner and you file a Schedule C on your personal tax return on your 1040, then that Schedule C represents your business income. It shows your income, it shows your expenses, and then uh, ends up with your net income there. That net income is what you are taxed on. You pay income taxes on that net income. Since you have a Schedule C, you are also paying employment taxes on that income as well. So both income tax as well as employment tax gets assessed on your return for your Schedule C income. It is that net income that determines if you can deduct your health insurance premiums or not on your return as a, as a as, as self-employed health insurance deduction. So the self-employed health insurance deduction is a deduction that is taken as an other deduction on your tax return. It shows up as a line item on there. You can see it on the return, self-employed health insurance. And is what happens is when you you uh, go to deduct that on your return, the tax software that you use, the tax laws require you to look at the net income, your net self-employment income that you have. So if you have a Schedule C and that has a loss for the year, let's say you brought in 50,000 but had uh, 60,000 of expenses, so you have a $10,000 loss on your Schedule C, well, you have no self-employment income, so therefore, you would not be able to deduct your health insurance premiums on your return because you have to have self-employment income in order for those to be deductible. Let's say that you brought in $50,000 of, of income on the Schedule C and had $30,000 of expenses, so now you have $20,000 of net income from your Schedule C and you paid $15,000 in, in health insurance premiums during the year. Well, since your health insurance premiums were less than what your Schedule C income was, those become deductible, fully deductible for you uh, on, your, on your tax return. And so you can uh, deduct those on, on the line that says uh, self-employed health insurance. Uh, you can deduct those because your self-employment income was greater than the premiums. And that, that applies um, even, even if you, you know, let's say you, you had $10,000 of net income on your Schedule C and your premiums were still $15,000, you'd still be able to deduct a percentage of them. So the self-employment income um, you know, factors in the Schedule C income as well as the, the, um, the self-employment tax that you pay is, is a deduction there as well. So if you put that into your return, it would run that calculation and see how much that you are actually able to deduct on your tax return as premiums. If you're you know, netting $100,000 in there, chances are you'll be able to deduct uh, all those premiums or you know, it just depends on the amount of premiums that you pay and the amount of self-employed income that you have coming through on your return. It's a similar situation with partnerships. So when you are a partner in a partnership, you get a K-1 from that partnership and that K-1 reports the amount of income that you're receiving from that partnership. So there could be a couple of, of different ways that this applies. Let's say that you're paying that health insurance premium yourself personally, it's not coming through the partnership or anything. So you could put that on your personal return as self-employed health insurance that you're paying. The return would look at it and say, okay, they have a K-1 from a partnership coming, it's showing self-employment income. They have health insurance premiums they pay, and it would run through the iterations of uh, what is deductible and how much of that is deductible to you, as long as that K-1 you get from the partnership is showing that the income from the partnership is subject to self-employment tax. You'd put that on there. Um, sometimes partnerships will pay those premiums for you, uh, and if that happens, then they'll usually add that to your K-1. It becomes a guaranteed payment on the K-1. 
And then um, it shows, so it shows his income on the K-1, and then it also shows as a special deduction on there as, as, uh, uh, as health insurance that's being paid. And then when you get to your personal return, when you input that K-1, it would pick up the income from the K-1, and then it would also pick up the deduction that, that is coming through for that, that health insurance. Uh, and you'd get the, the full deduction there for it because your business income from the K-1 would be reduced because they would be deducting those health insurance premiums at the, at the partnership level there, and then passing that through on, on your K-1. Uh, C corporations don't qualify for the self-employed health insurance deduction because when you are an owner of a C corporation, you are not self-employed. You are employed by the C corporation. So the benefit of having a C corporation, uh, one of the few benefits, C corporations are really terrible for tax purposes because you pay so much tax um, as a C Corp, you get double taxed on them. But one of the benefits is that a, a C Corp can provide health insurance to its employees uh, without any sort of, uh, of issues. So if you have a C Corporation and it's paying your health insurance, it gets deducted at the C Corporation level and uh, you don't have to worry about it there. So um, C Corporations don't have to worry about self-employed health insurance, which brings up an interesting scenario with S corporations. Because again, when you are the owner of a corporation, whether it's a C corporation or an S corporation, you are not technically considered to be self-employed. You are considered to be employed by your corporation. Um, and that's why S corp owners don't pay any self-employment tax on the income coming through from their S corp because they're not considered to be self-employed. There's no self-employment tax because you're not self-employed. Uh, so S-Corp owners have to take a W-2 and pay themselves a reasonable salary from their S-Corp. If you want more information on that, we have uh, a few videos here on, on this channel that go through S-Corps and how they work and time to convert and reasonable compensation and all that sort of stuff. So look for those videos uh, on, on the channel here. Uh, so uh, S-Corp owners, the way that it works for them is the corporation deducts the premiums as a business deduction, and then it gets added to the W-2 for the shareholder. So that shareholder, they see the W-2, the box one wages is increased for the health insurance. And then it's also added to box 14 of the W-2 as well as other information. And so is what happens is since the premiums are deducted at the S Corp level, the S Corp gets a deduction. So the S Corp owner, when they get their K-1 from the entity, their K-1 increase, their, their, their K-1 income is decreased because the S corporation has deducted that. So, um, so see if, make sure you're following me here because this kind of gets complicated. So you get a, you get a K-1. So let's say, let's say the business income was $100,000, but it had paid $15,000 of health insurance premiums for you. So instead of the K-1 showing $100,000 of income, the K-1 now shows $85,000 of income because it's deducted those health insurance premiums. It then adds that $15,000 to your W-2. So the line one of your W-2 is increased by $15,000. So now when you get over to your personal tax return, what happens? Your W-2 income is increased by $15,000. Your K-1 income is decreased by $15,000. So those two numbers wash each other out and net to zero. So to actually get the deduction, you then look at the box 14, which says self-employed health insurance or, or health insurance paid on, on behalf of an, an S Corp owner. And then you add that to the self-employed health insurance line on your tax return and get a deduction for it there. So when you're an S Corp owner, and I know this sounds crazy, but when you're an S Corp owner, your health insurance premiums hit your tax return in three places. It increases your W-2 wages, it decreases your K-1 income, and then ultimately uh, you get a deduction through the self-employed health insurance line on your return. So you see it in those three places effectively being affected the return. Um, the W-2 income and the K-1 income net each other out and you finally get the deduction as on the self-employed health insurance line. So that's how self-employed health insurance works for business owners, whether they be Schedule C, Partnership, C Corp or S Corp and how you deduct those and how that works. Uh, again, if you found this uh, information helpful, uh, I would appreciate it if you would uh, hit the subscribe button. Thanks.